Uh, we are going to be showing you a little bit about the brand new uh, Wi-Fi module from Hobby Wing that's just been released and shipping, uh, which is right here. I have a speed control out of the car so it's a little easier to see how to connect it. And I wanted to go through this so we could make sure you understand why and what's going on for the first connection, first connection, I'm sorry, uh, of how you hook it up. So it comes in, uh, this is an XR10 Pro, uh, if you have a just stock, it's the receiver wire uh, and, and so on. So watch with speed control and wherever you plug this box into before is where the uh, Wi-Fi module will plug in. So that comes in, we plug it in here. All right, and you'll see I've got the, the Wi-Fi module here and then I'm going to turn it on. And now we have the red light on, so the little HTTP server in here is now running. I come over here, and I go into my settings. you got to make sure your Wi-Fi is on on your phone. Not connected to a Wi-Fi situation, but Wi-Fi has got to be active. And I don't know if you can see here, it says Internet's not available because we are not broadcasting the Internet through this uh, device. It's only a home network here. So I say OK, and you'll see right now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi link. So here's our Hobbywing app. So I come in here and hit, hit the Hobbywing app. And here we are. And then right now you'll see I'm going to touch this. And it's now connecting to... Takes just a moment here. Again, this is the first time you're connected. Now, if you can see on the screen, the little uh, like broadcasting, I'll call it, uh, beacon coming out of the speaker. So now we're connected. Now, the first time you do this, and this is important, if you hit parameter, you're going to get a data error. You're getting the data error because, again, we have the new device now. We have the new software on the Android phone here or Apple device. And now we have to get the new and latest software here on the speed control to be all compatible. So I'm going to come down here to firmware upgrade. And you can see I'm in an old beta version, old, old one. I need to be at 4.2. So it's going to come down here and hit update. It says, are you sure you want to update? You can read the fine print here. I'm going to say, uh, yes, I do want to update. Now, if you can see on the screen, We've got a status info. It says 0%, 1%, 2%. Not going to keep counting, but it's going to uh, update here. All right, we're up here at 84% now. Much more convenient than when we had to hook up the device through the laptop. So this is a, this is a good feature right here. Uh, you don't need to carry laptops anymore. And here we're at 99, 100%. Now it says updates complete. ESC needs to be restarted. It'll automatically restart itself. Please wait. Okay. Now it's restarting. And you can see it was blinking there. Now it's re reloading the data. And now you can see we're at the current release target and current. So I'm going to go back and now we're going to go into our parameters and now we have all our different profiles. I'm just going to select zero timing and now it's again talking to the speed control and communicating the parameter and the values for each back to the phone. And remember, the first time through this, it's going to be a little slower than when you get going. All right. So now we can roll through here and, and do whatever we want to change. Uh, say cutoff voltage, we want to change it. We can just disable it. We can just roll through and scroll. We'll just pick, uh, let's just go to three volts. Okay. Motor temp, again, you can set that. And then you just simply hit save. It says, please ensure that everything's operational. I'll say yes. It's now saving. Save successful. 
and now we have our three volts and the 125 for motor protection. So I want to exit back. I can exit, come back here, and then you just click that. Yes, I want to disconnect, and we're back out. So it's very important on this very first time through that we have to upgrade the very latest firmware on the speed control that you're using that we're working on to make sure everything's compatible between the phone software, the new Wi-Fi device, and the software on our, or firmware on your speed control. That's all we got right now. It seems to be working just fine. Uh, have fun.